All right, so good evening, everyone. Hi, teacher. Where are you? Hey, sir. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks for asking. So how are you doing, everyone? On a Thursday so well. evening. Yeah, very well, very well. Uh, good night, good evening. <laughs> okay, so in how many uh, cups of coffee do you have so far? <laughs> um, well, none. <laughs> this none. <morning>, none. <laughs> none. <laughs> it's very <about> chocolate. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's either chocolate or, or coffee. I think what we need is something warm, right? Yeah. That's right. <clears throat> okay, so this is only the third date of, of the week for us because we miss Monday classes. So you see, this is what happens when you skip classes. <laughs> So remember that like, since last Monday, we didn't work. So there was no classes due to the holiday. We're gonna have a class today and also tomorrow. So tomorrow is the last date of the module. Yeah. And you know, I do appreciate the ones that have been uh, very uh, perseverant on this from the beginning till the end. So this is not over yet, okay? <laughs> okay, and tomorrow we'll have class? Yeah, we're gonna have class. Okay, great. Yes. So if you're free or if you're still conscious, so join the class, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, the idea tomorrow is to review the, uh, the other topics from from the platform. We're still missing a couple of topics over there. I'm not going to open the platform right now because my system will get a little bit slow. So we're going to put that aside. But I'm telling you tomorrow we're going to talk about wishes. If, if you recall, one specific part of the uh, grammar in the platform was about wishes. Like, I wish I were rich. <laughs> okay. So I wish the COVID-19, you know, uh, went away, except, et cetera. So tomorrow we're gonna be talking about that. So that being said, it means that tonight is the last chance for us to practice the uh, comparisons of equality. Okay, so just one second, come over here. Let's see who's in the house tonight. I have... Uh, Mr. Angel Arevalo, Miss or Mrs. Brenda Lopez, Mr. Edgar Mauricio Soriano. I also have Mr. German Mangandi, Karen oh, yeah. Enrique, Miss yes, sir. Yes, sir. and then uh, Mr. Luis Bautista, Xavi Rivas, and Alex Cornejo. So nine participants, at least that's a good number. So let's get let's get to business over here. Let me just get the right screen. You see, if this is the one that that was yesterday. Um, yeah, there's a mistake over here. So it is Thursday, right? You never, you know, now that you work at home, you you don't know what date of the week is, right? <laughs> okay. So Thursday, uh, November fifth, twenty twenty. Okay. So good yeah. to see you, Alex. Um, and there we nice go. Nice to see you. As 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 usual, we have the word of the night, and tonight is this phrase, which I think we we uh, need most of the time. You know, by Friday tomorrow night at eight o'clock, we're gonna have a class. And you're gonna tell me, teacher, I need to recharge my batteries. Okay. So okay. you know, that's why we have Saturdays, at least if you don't work on Saturday evening, 
or Saturday afternoon, you have the uh, day off on Sunday, you use that time to recharge your battery. Okay. Okay. And this expression is similar as the one we use in Spanish and is a literal translation. So over here, you don't need to actually uh, try to guess what this phrase means. Okay. It's a literal meaning. All right. And uh, I have this image to exemplify this. No names over here. Okay. This might be you. I don't know. On a Sunday evening, afternoon, or Saturday morning, if you wake up actually <laughs> on Saturday. So, idiom, recharge your batteries. And I'm going to ask Alice, could you help me read the uh, sentence below the image, please? Okay. I have nothing against your recharging your batteries. I just think you should do it on your own time. What would be the what's what's wrong on this um, on this image? By the way, it's okay to recharge your batteries. That's okay. But what do you see, Alex, or anybody he else looks, in this in this image? He looks like a hell of a vacation. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's right. taking it too easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's, he, he, he misunderstood the concept of recharging your batteries, but you do yeah. it at home. You don't do it at the office. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yes. Uh, and this actually uh, reminds me of another expression, uh, couch potato. Have you heard that expression before, by the way? Couch mm -hmm. potato. You know that a couch is a sofa, but uh, just yeah. one single. It's so, and like have, mean... Excuse me? It's like me and a an lazy man. Yes. When you feel very lazy and just eating uh, mm -hmm. chips, or if a you're a guide, or I don't know, you have a beer over there just watching TV, you don't even take a shower, you're a couch oh, potato. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So and when you are mm -hmm. recharging your batteries, that happens. We have to be couch potato, como right? <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so couch <laughs> potato. I'm going to send the... Uh, you know the spelling of, of the other phrase in there? Couch potato. Couch. Couch potato. That's the one. You know, a couch is un sofa. You know, and then you're like a potato. Aplastado, pues. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, so that's the one. I send it to the uh, to the Zoom chat. And just to double check, uh, let me open the personal chat. All right. There we go. And I have an example in here. But since this is, uh, I would say, simple, you, you will understand. What's the definition? Informal, to rest and relax in order to regain mm. energy and strength. All right? Mm -hmm. Maybe you go to sleep, you take a nap. Mm -hmm. So what do you do to recharge your batteries, by the way? You may drink something, tea, coffee, beer. It's up to you. Eat. I sleep. <laughs> yeah, or you go, you go out with your family on a trip you know, to Los Planes or to the nearest pupuseria. I don't know. Yeah, I prefer to go to the beach to, to church body. Yeah, yeah, that's a great yeah. idea, by the way. That's a great idea. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much it. We have this example. We took a nap after work to recharge your batteries, to recharge our batteries before going out dancing. If you say, I need to recharge my batteries, you gotta say my. If you say he he recharges his batteries uh, playing soccer, for example, you may say that. Yeah. So make sure to change the uh, the adjective, the the possessive adjective like my, you, well, your, or his, her, etc. All right. I think that this play soccer or any sport uh, is better to get that distress. <laughs> Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. But in here, we, we, you know, we fall into the category, uh, maybe some of you, but be football, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Now, let's get down to business, everyone. So, mm. let's see what time. What time is it, by the way? I, I know, uh, yeah. It's uh, 8.07, 8.08. Is that what you have? 8.07. Okay. Yes. 8.07, 8.08 in this moment. So I'm gonna go over this uh, review, this grammar. In this case, we have some expressions, all right? So we also use as and then the space. 
uh, and don't pay attention to some grammar points in there. I, we're not gonna get into a lot of details because my point is not to get you confused. My point is to give you the opportunity or to uh, create the environment for you to practice. So we have uh, one, two, three, four sentences and uh, tonight you're gonna help me read. So I'll be choosing a, a lady and it's gonna be you, Brenda, because I hear your voice once already tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm sorry I'm late. Continue, please. Where? That first one, the one that says, and sorry, I'm late. Uh, that one. No. Do you see it Sorry. or not? No, I can, no. Okay, let me stop share this screen. And let me just okay. go back again. All right, do you see it now? Yes. On my screen, okay. Thank you, so uh, so I'm sorry I'm late, uh-huh. I got here as fast as I could. As fast as I could, all right. You can say, I'm going to do it as fast as I can. You can say that too. Okay. okay. They call me as fast as, as you uh, get home. It's the same okay. as, as, as saying as soon as possible. But in this case, you're talking about the speed. So continue, please, Brenda. There's plenty of food. Can you have as much as you want? Yes. There are, there's plenty of pupusas. <laughs> Don't tell that to a friend. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so you can have as much as you want. But in these cases, if you say pupusas, which are countable, you gotta say as many, all right? So that's the uh -huh. main difference. Because in this case, you're talking about food in general, all right? You mm -hmm. gotta say as much as, if you say that there, there are plenty of tortillas, all right? You, and then you can say, you can have as many as you want. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So continue, please, Brenda. Can you send me the information? As soon as possible, please. As soon as possible. So the three phrases are as fast as, uh, as fast as, as much as, or as, as many as, and as soon as. And mm -hmm. there's another expression that, that native speakers use, and I'm going to share that with you. Maybe, uh, you, actually, you don't have to use this, but you may hear this, say, ASAP, ASAP, you got it? Safe. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's safe, and people say it's safe, all right, as soon as possible, that's the meaning, all okay. right? Okay. So that's the abbreviation, so in writing you can put a SAP, like, like it sounds over there, ASAP, you say, can you send me information ASAP, and then they will understand what you're saying or as soon as possible, oh. and then you, you, you include, right. please. Mm. I'll call you ASAP, okay? I call you uh. as soon as possible. Uh. Mm -hmm. And there's another expression, as soon as, okay, this one, also. okay? Uh, that actually does the one. As soon as I get home, uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, reply to you because right now I don't have connection. That's an, that's a, that's an example. So Brenda, let's continue, mm -hmm. let's walk. I use as quick as taking the bus. Yeah, if you travel or if you use uh, Boulevard del Ejército, yes, in the morning, <laughs> yes, in, in the uh, rush hour, or a pico, right? In the rush yeah. hour, mm -hmm. yes, is, you know, walking is just as quick as taking the bus or just as slow <laughs> as taking the bus. So. Mm. And also twice as, as three times as, etc. So we have these other examples in there and just like that. When you're like comparing things, you say patrol or gasoline. And let me just choose a, a gentleman over here. Um, let's see, Chavi Rivas. Help us with the three examples we have with twice as expensive as, uh, three times as big as, and then three times, actually two examples. The way. Mr. Rivas. Thank you. Yeah, I need to read. Yeah, go ahead, please. Um, Petro is twice as expensive as it was a few years ago. Uh, yeah, their, their house is about three times as big as ours. Yeah, 
or that's me right nine, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah my neighbor's house is as three times as big as my house oh. which i'm not paying you know i'm just renting <laughs> by the way <laughs> <laughs> okay this sounds, weird. Start... This sounds so very weird <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in this case, you use uh, you may say uh, this exam is is twice as difficult as the one we had with uh, teacher Alfaro. You may say or with Frank. Okay. Okay, you may say that, or you you can say this class is as boring as uh, our previous uh, teacher's class, <laughs> <laughs> or That's as so interesting. Hard. Okay, <laughs> or, or as interesting. You may say okay. <laughs> or etc right so it's up to you how you say it but as as i promised last uh, night you gotta practice over here you don't have to write right, anything right. down okay yeah. so i'm going to split you into purse and uh, i'll be sending this uh, image again so you don't but you can actually scroll up into the chat and you can find it but the point is, uh, for example, I'm practicing with you, Angel. I'm practicing and yeah. I'm telling you. So imagine this, I'm telling you, you're my partner. I'm tall, yeah, yeah. but you are taller. So, and I can say, so Angel, and then you continue, right? Okay, I'm not as tall as you. Just be, uh, I will say this, be considerate, okay? Or be reasonable with your classmates. Give your partner, time to think <laughs> okay? okay okay yeah or help him out so in, oh, on number four we have we are busy today but we were busier yesterday you know our hamster in our mind needs, needs to wake up so we and we gotta think so we're busy today but we were busier yesterday so we are in and then you hit your classmate with that response over there at least give your partner, let's say, five seconds. All right? Okay. <laughs> At least, I mean, you can give it or her more time time. to think. <laughs> and that, that's the idea. <laughs> so that's not you the idea. Said, okay. Excuse me? <laughs> you said it. Yeah, I said it. Okay. Um, so I'm, go I'm going to send just one image at a time so once you're done i'm gonna send the second one and you're gonna practice with somebody else and then the third one and so on okay there you go you got it on the personal chat right yeah yeah nice so 11 participants one of you will have to practice with me or if you like you can stay in the same groups of three okay okay here we go so what you know what I'm what I'm saying right now is that Brenda, Luis, and Xavi are together, and that's the only trio, okay. And then we have Miguel, Miguel, and Roberto Alas uh, working all together. Angel with Edgar, German with Karen Galdames, yeah, and then Alex with Karen and Eunice. So help each other, please. Okay. So uh, go ahead and join the uh, breakout rooms, please. All right, so Mr. Franco, Hey, hello, teacher. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. What about you, sir? How are you? So far, so good. That's the attitude, you know. That's the attitude. That's the attitude, yeah. Yes. So <clears throat> let's let's do this then. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let me do the first one. Uh, so please ask uh, number two, please, and then I'm gonna try to do it for you. So my salary. My salary is high, but yours is higher. Okay, so I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, try to try to use as and as. Okay. Okay. So okay. you say my salary is high, but yours is higher. So that means that my salary isn't as high as yours. Is that correct? My salary isn't higher. 
as high. My salary isn't as high as you. Uh, 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 as your salary, right? Yeah. Okay, okay nice. Ho hold on. Somebody has not been assigned, it says Veronica. Okay. Okay, so number number three. Try to do number three, please. Uh, you know a bit about cars, but I know more. So that means that you don't... So I'm going to give you time. You, Think about it. Okay. You don't... Uh, no, no, you don't know. Uh, you don't. You don't know as about cars or you. No, ask hey. me. No. Mm -hmm. no. One more time, please. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. You don't know as about car as me. Okay, so it's you correct. can say you you don't know uh, about cards, and then uh, you don't know as about car as me. You you can also say you don't know uh, uh, as much. As I know about cards, or so you can say that, but you can also say you don't know about cards as much as me. You can say that as much okay. as much okay. as as much as if you're comparing something, as in, I would say it in general, you say as much as. Okay. Okay. So you, you don't know about car as much as me. As much as me, or as, or, or as much as I do. It's up to you, but you can say it as much as I me. Okay. So number four. We are, uh, actually you read it and then gonna complete this, okay? Okay, we are busy today, but we were busy yesterday. Okay, so we're busy today, but we were busy yesterday. We aren't as busy as yesterday. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the one, because we were busy yesterday. That means that today we're good. I have more time, it means that we are as busy as yesterday. Hello, Veronica. Okay. Veronica, Veronica. Okay, she can hear us. Okay, so number five, Mr. Franco, I still feel number bad, five. but I felt a lot worse earlier. I still feel bad, but I felt a lot worse earlier. I don't feel as mm -hmm. good as um, you may say bad okay because the adjective is bad okay i don't feel bad now you may say i don't feel and then as as, uh -huh. bad, as as bad in the morning yeah as earlier or as earlier in the morning yeah that's okay yeah, okay that's okay, okay yes yeah, I don't feel as bad as earlier, or as I, or I don't feel as bad as I feel in the morning. Okay. Okay, the next one. Okay. Our neighbors have lived here for a quite a long time, but but we've lived here longer. Okay, so our neighbors haven't haven't lived as long. Or as much time, in this case, you can say uh, our neighbors haven't lived as much time as we, or as, as us, okay? So listen to this. Our neighbors have lived here for quite a long time, but we live here longer. So my family has been here longer, but the neighbors haven't. So our neighbors okay. haven't okay. lived as much time okay. as our family. Okay, That's something like that. Yeah. Just all you have, you gotta do is to identify what you're describing. In this case, it's a long time. Okay, and okay. then our neighbors haven't lived as much time as as my, as my family. Uh, uh, okay, seven. I I was a little nervous before the interview, but usually I'm a lot more nervous. <laughs> okay. 
I wasn't be nervous. No, I wasn't as. I wasn't as nervous. Uh -huh, as. No. Yeah, you can say uh, that. Okay. I wasn't. No, I wasn't nervous. Okay, so I wasn't as nervous as as usually. Uh -huh, as, no. I, as, 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 as usual, as usually, you may say that. That's okay. Yes, okay. I, I wasn't yeah. as nervous as usually. As usually, yeah. That's it. We got it. Okay. Nice. Let me uh, close the uh, rooms so we can, co you know, go back and, and okay. complete this. Okay. Okay. All right. So now I need the help uh, from, uh, let's say, some volunteers who, who can help me complete these uh, sentences. Okay. I'm just going to yeah. read it and then somebody just give me the answer, please. So you know a bit about course, but I know more. So okay. you don't. Uh, we can start teacher, with the, the two last because it's very complicated. Okay. Six and seven. That's okay. So our neighbors have lived here for quite a long time, but we live here longer. Uh huh. What's what's one option that you have, Angel? I think so. This the the answer will be our uh, neighbors haven't lived here as long as us. Yeah, you can say that, or you can also say our neighbors haven't lived as much time as we have. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, you can say that too, because in that case, the emphasis is on time. Okay. okay, as much time as we, or as our family has. Or is it way? It's good. Excuse me. In both ways, it's good. It's great. Yes. Remember that. That's why the topic is. And let me just go back. I think. The time. Uh, yeah. Very. Good. I'm gonna go very back <laughs> in time in here. You know, Back to the Future, like the like the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think uh, <laughs> I'm gonna find it, you know. I'm lost with, you know, with the doc. There you go. So you okay. see evaluations with adjectives. Uh, let's pay attention to this. Okay, this one with adjectives and comparisons with nouns. So in this case, I'm saying uh, our neighbors uh, haven't lived as much time like this. So I'm using like in the case of bedrooms, you know, it's a noun, time. As much time as we. But if I want to use an adjective, long, right? Our neighbors yeah, yeah, yeah. Having, having lived as long as we have. Okay? Okay. Now let's go back to 1985. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nice. Okay. Here we go. So okay. that being said, what about number seven, everyone? I was a little nervous before the interview. Yeah, but usually I'm a lot more nervous. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I wasn't. Uh huh. I wasn't. Uh... Uh -huh. I think uh -huh. so. I wasn't as nervous as before. I don't know. As, you, as, as usually, you may say, do not complicate your lives. Okay, if it okay. makes sense, just keep it simple. Okay. Sometimes you know, like the, some philosophy uh, uh, goes, it, it says less is more. That's what they say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So less is more. In this case, that's the that's the case. But I'm gonna ask a, a, a lady, uh, see if, if she can help us. Um. So I got caring. Miss Galdames, could you help us on the last one, please? Okay. The number? The last one, seven. It's the one which we were just uh, talking. Oh. I wasn't um, um, nervous. I 
as I usually I am. Yeah, you may say that. But in, when you speak, uh, we tend to reduce the uh, the length. Uh, we, take, we tend to use contractions and, and use, I would say, simple sentences. So that's why I think it's better. I mean, your, your option, it's okay, but you can also say, so I wasn't as nervous as I, as, as usually. That's it. But as I usually get. So it's up to you, right? So we're gonna move with the next one, okay? The next uh, image over here. Okay, write a new sentence with the same meaning. In this case, I'm not gonna ask you to write anything down because this is a speaking activity. So let me send this to you again, to the chat so you can practice, all right? So you, you may also go ahead and get a screenshot, but I mean, I'm, go, I'm sending this as, uh, as I speak. And there we go. So as you can see, this one goes you know, to a higher level. So on this one, we're raising the bar. So we have this example number one, Jack is younger than he looks. So Jack isn't as old as he looks. I didn't spend as much money as you. So you spent, more money than me. So uh, in this case, you don't really have to use as, you may use some other ways to compare, okay? So you may use uh, as, and then the adjective, or as many, as much, etc. Or you can also use more, better, or the best. But in this case, we're comparing, okay? All right. All right, so let me uh, okay. split you again into a uh, purse. On this one, I think we're gonna spend a little bit more time, you know, practicing. Okay. But here we go. Uh, so in this, okay, so right now we have uh, new uh, partners. So Angel with Roberto Alas, Luis with Mr. Okay. Franco. Alex uh, with Brenda, Edgar with Karim, and German with Chavi Rivas. And Kari, Karen Eunice just joined, so I'm gonna send her to another room over here. All right, so go ahead, please join the breaker rooms and get to practice. In the three, okay. the session was nearer. Uh, the station wasn't nearer than than I, I thought. The station wasn't wasn't uh -huh, far wasn't away. Far, uh -huh, far away. Uh, yeah, this is a three. Mm -hmm, the third one, right? Or number right. three. <laughs> Hi, <Yes>. teacher. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. You, uh, do you have any other uh, any other possibility? By the way. The station wasn't. Mm. The let's say that like, you're looking for C-Trams, for example, I don't know. The, the station uh -huh. was nearer than I thought. Okay. So you thought it was Pensé. farther, right? it was far, you know, it was far. farther. Okay, uh, you can say the station wasn't, uh -huh. you're saying the opposite, what's the opposite of near? Wasn't far. Uh, wasn't, yeah. but you're saying this as, as, as far? As far. As I throw. As, as I thought, I correct. Yes, the station wasn't as fast as far as I as I thought. That could be okay. another option. Mm -hmm. Or you can say a, a negative. You can a negative using two, using two. The station wasn't. Yeah. Wasn't use, yeah. Uh -huh, wasn't using, far that I told. Uh, this one. Wasn't too the station wasn't too too, too far. far too far yeah just like wasn't that too far yeah as I just too, like that right you just make too keep far it too far yeah. to just throw. keep it keep it simple less complicated yeah so uh, you may say this, this, yes this, I can understand right yeah wasn't so this, too far wasn't too far yes which means that it wasn't as far as I thought. <laughs> Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Okay. okay. The next one. The meal didn't cost as much. 
I, I gotta I, I gotta I, leave. You know, I need to visit some of your classmates. Okay. So, okay. Then how long are hair? Yes, can can used to have longer hi. Yeah. All right, so excuse me. Uh, so we have here uh, two Karims, okay. Karim al <laughs> Yeah, Karim is square. Karim <laughs> you know, square we have. <laughs> Being Mr. Mauricio. So you're, oh, you're working on number six, right? Yes. All right, so we have Karims. Oh, and also we have Karim in here too. <laughs> <A> coincidence. <laughs> So we have carrying, uh, you know, cube, al cubo. <laughs> so Karen's hair isn't as long as it used to be. Okay, so Karen's hair isn't as long as it used to be. All right, so Karen used to? How long have my hair? Hi, Karen used to have? Uh-huh. Longer height. A longer hair, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, easy, right? When you have as long as, and then the other, the other way to compare things, it's a little bit easier. So let's complete the next one, the uh, number seven. I'm gonna read it, and anybody can actually reply to this. All right, it could be either Karen Caldames or Miss Karen Eunice or Edward. So I know them better than you two. You don't. Know them as much as I know? Yes, correct. You can say you don't know them as much as I do, or, or, as, uh, or as me. As me. Okay. You may say as me. As, as me. Or, or if you use another more formal grammar, you can also say good. You don't know them as. Uh huh. Uh huh. What would be the the uh, the uh, original adjective over there? Because better it's you know the comparative form. We got good, better, right? Better. So so you don't know them as uh huh. Good. As good as good as, good. as as good as me. Just like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. <laughs> now that I see that you're actually practicing, I gotta go. <laughs> okay. This is some other neighbors. And, oops. Sorry about that. Yeah, that was a surprise. And we go with so so keep on try to complete the last one, please. Teacher, All right, so here. are you done, gentlemen? Sorry to interrupt you. Are you done? Oh, uh, can you help us with the number six? Number six. Are you still there? Oh yeah. Okay. Sure, okay, okay. but on that one you don't really need to use as long as because the uh, I would say the, the original statement has as long as so you just yeah. use a comparative adjective. That's it. <laughs> I think it's like Karen used to use her hair longer, longer. Yeah. No. Yeah, you can say uh, Karen used to have. You can also say. Used to have. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can say that. Uh, Karen used to have. Used to have here, here, longer. Yes. Nice. Uh, what about number seven? I know them better than you do. So that means that you don't? You know, don't know them better mm -hmm. than I do. No, you, we don't use. Yeah, you can say that. You don't know them better than I do. You can say that. But to use a different grammar. You don't know them as you don't well need. as I do. Okay, you don't know them as what you said, uh, German. As well or as good? As I yeah, do. you can say that. Uh, you can say as well as I do, or as or, or yeah, as well. It has to be as well. Uh, or you can say you can also say you don't know them as good as I do, but well would be more okay. appropriate. Okay. Or mm. you may also say you don't know them as much as me. Just like as that. Much as, uh, okay. Yes. Okay. okay, as much. So because oh, in that okay. case, we're talking about a, a, a an amount, you know, a quantity. Yes. Okay, so we have like three options in there or more. Yes. yes. 
So uh, same happens in the last one, that there are fewer students in this class than in the other one. In this case, yes, you know, match huh? is for many, time, etc. But or oh, as many. Can, can, yes, correct. Yes, yes, yes right, mm -hmm. right, right. There aren't so, as many students in this class. In this class, uh, just like that, you may say. Because we're understanding the context. So, but if you are just telling the whole story, you have to say, uh, as in my other class. So there aren't as many students in this class as my other class. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now let's go back to the main session and let's see uh, if everybody was able to figure this out. This out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right, so I don't want to spend uh, too much time on this screen, but I need to ask you, do you, uh, or no, would you want me, or would you like me to, to help you or to review any specific number in here? Like, I don't know. Number in the four. last, in the last, the last t-shirt, because I have a problem with this. The last, the last yeah. I'm gonna ask German because I had the opportunity to work with him and then he also, he was able to figure this out. So uh, German, would you help us please? Yes, there aren't, <laughs> there aren't as many students in this class as in the other one, on, in yeah. the other one. Yeah, you can say that. Yes, uh, because it's, there are fewer students in this class than in the other one, which means that in the other one, there are more students. Okay, yeah, yeah. but, but ah, we're not okay, but, yeah. we're, but we're not using this grammar. So we we're saying as you know comparing equality. So that's why German said there aren't as many students in this class as in my other one, as in my previous class. Or like uh, German can say, uh, I don't know if that's the case, but he has a class uh, that starts at nine thirty. He said last time, so he can make the comparison. Am I correct, German? Yeah. Yes. All right, so that, that could uh, no. be a, a real example for him. And I think okay. that's the only, that's the only uh, sentence we can come up with on here. And uh, I'm interested on number three, all right? The station was yeah. nearer than I thought. And, and on this one, I'm gonna ask Karim uh, Eunice for the first auction and Karim Galdames for the uh, second auction. We have the station was nearer than I thought. Okay, so the station wasn't wasn't too far. <laughs> yes, you can say wasn't too far. Or yeah, you may also say. Remember, this is simple. Do not complicate your life. Yeah, uh, you can also say, uh, "What's the opposite of near?" Far. Far, right? Far. So, and then using the grammar as how how would you say the station wasn't? The station wasn't as far as, as far. Thong. Yes, correct. So the station wasn't as far as, as I thought. Thong. As I thought. Yeah, right now we're not using this. Oh. Correct. And like on this example of number seven, I know them better than you do. You don't you don't know them as much as me, or you don't know them as well as me. Okay. That's why I know them better. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, now let's get to working here. But on this one, let me share the screen because I don't know why, but if I shorten or if I make the, the link uh, shorter, I'm not able to share it with you and it seems to be broken. You know, I was yeah. trying to fix this, but instead I'm going to ask you what to do. All right. Yeah. And on, on this one, there are no copyrighted tents. So I think we're not going to get in, in trouble. Okay, so let me just uh, share the screen with you and I'm going to go to Google, please. I think I can say that and I don't get in trouble because it's uh, something that we always use. So go to Google, please. Uh, 
go to your or use your any browser the one you have and uh, let me just share the screen with you and then let me know if you're able to get this screen okay so this is where we go we go to google.com and then just type tourist destinations El Salvador it doesn't really matter if you do it with capital letters you know that's not really important in here of course you know El Salvador is, is with initial uh, capital E and capital A so tourist okay so tourist destinations El Salvador and then the first result is the one that we're gonna get into which is this all right so you click uh, over here so more destinations in El Salvador and it's gonna take you to this screen are you able to see the screen I'm sharing with you yes yeah yeah I see it I see it okay and then you're gonna have this screen and here you have that's what i told so you last Sushitoto, yes the quaterpeke lake yes but just one thing you know a disclaimer una aclaración. this image yes. is, is wrong because el san salvador doesn't have uh, <laughs> yeah it's uh, bahia <laughs> this bay right <laughs> so i don't know maybe this is in brazil because there's a place called salvador ah yeah so yeah it's, it's uh, san salvador brazil yeah it's a city something like that the, okay but name. suchitoto i've been there you know like once or twice i can say that's the place like the cuatepec and i've been this there it's called salvador de bahia yes you're right and then you have this place of santa Ana la libertad this is my idea all right and you're gonna tell me if it's okay for you or not so try to compare different places. Like if it's a volcano, compare a volcano. If it's a lake, you may compare the lake of Guatepeque and then uh, Ilopango Lake. You may say it's yeah. as beautiful as, or it's as far as, or, it, or eating uh, the uh, restaurants in Guatepeque isn't as cheap as eating uh, in, in Lago de Ilopango. Or you may say uh, safety, about safety, uh, going to Lago de Guatepeque, I heard, you know, it's, it's not as safe as going to Lago de, uh, de Cuatepeque or vice versa. But you get my point here, right? So all you gotta do is to choose some uh, landmarks, some places, and just uh, have a conversation with your classmates. Like, have you been to El Sonte? Yeah, this is my uh, one place, one of the uh, beaches that I've been to, okay? In El Salvador, you know, El Sonte. I'm from uh, Usulután, so I've been to El Cuco a lot. So the idea is to have a conversation, not just to use the grammar as and as, right? So, but to actually have a conversation. Like, when was the last time you went to San Miguel? You can ask. And, and then you start talking, all right? All right. So, um, but for this, everybody needs to have this screen open already. And you have a lot of uh, options in here. You have plenty of, imp of uh, options. So Aguachapan, so, so not if you're from Santa Ana, so you know more information so far Santa Ana. If you're from San Miguel too, you know Aguachapan, San Miguel, San Salvador, La Libertad. So sounds like a plan for you? Yes. Okay, but in this opportunity, you're gonna be working in, uh, let's say groups of three. Okay. Okay. Nice. So hold on, please. And we're it's eight forty eight, and the activity is gonna last no more than three minutes. So by eight fifty one, eight fifty two, we're gonna come back to the main session. Okay. 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 All right. So just hold on. All right. So I'm opening the breaker rooms. And there you go, please join. Okay. And, uh, Angel is with German, Karen, Luis Bautista, Alex with Brenda, Xavi, and they're together. Carmen, Eunice, Miguel, and Roberto, you guys are together. Go ahead, please.
to Santo Tomás and after that is a, it's a road. Eso es que, eso, eso, eso es algo complicado to go there because um, the street is rural. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. You can down with, it, with the car, but it's, uh, it's lonely. You have to drive it slowly. But the person uh, is very uh, complicated. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the part of the Ilopango is, is more more accessible. Okay, okay. Okay, what about you, oh, uh, Luis? And the visit is Santana or, or Huayua? No. Yes. Mr. Bautista, I think you're, you're um, muted. Luis? Or maybe, all right. Well, uh, sometime, well, uh, Santana is, is the cultural is so as beautiful as the cultural of San Salvador. Yes, that's different. <laughs> yeah. can, you be, can you believe that I, I never been to the uh, Santana Cathedral? Really? <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, never. It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, that's so beautiful. I think yeah, so. That's yeah. more, it's more beautiful than the Catedral of San Salvador. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I have a Gothic, a Gothic architecture. Uh, Gothic architecture, right? Yes. Okay. What about what about your favorite uh, beaches? You know. <laughs> for me, for me, the, the best beaches are in in Sonsonare. Okay, which ones? Uh, for example, uh, 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 Los Cobanos. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a part. Cobanos, este, Piedra Roca, Punta Roca. Uh, um, okay, and, and uh, uh, Metalillo I, is over there? Yeah, yeah, Metalillo, yeah. Okay. I, uh, I, think, I think the best beach is in La Unión. Which one? Um, Los Toros. Ah, okay. I heard about that. Yes. Have you been to El Golfo de Fonseca? No, I don't. I don't know. Uh, yes, I've been there. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You can see across the the sea. You know the uh, part of Honduras and also Nicaragua. I've been there like once or twice. Puerto. You yes. look at the you see the the, the islands. Yes, you see the island mother. And also El Cuco, I've been there my whole life. You know, as a child, Playa. my parents used to take me there. Yes? Playa del Espina, yes. Usulutan. Yes. yes. It's great, yeah. It's yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. That's in Aguachapan. It's a different beach. Okay. Very beautiful, too. Okay. For example, uh, Parra de Santiago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. <clears throat> All right, so one more minute, then we're going to come back because I, ha I have another activity for you. Okay, right? okay, okay, sir. okay sir. Nice. You know, and, and try to save try to save this WhatsApp. I think it's, it's nice for us to have, yes. you know, good, good uh, places. <laughs> okay. Nice. I'm going to close the rooms, but you still have one more minute, okay? Okay, sir. So, how are you both? <laughs> how's, how's everything? Yeah, you know, good. Everything is good. I mean, <laughs> this week the uh, classes were canceled, you know, in the school. So I had a lot of uh, homework to check, and, and so I have time, more time for my family. <laughs> so <laughs> it's good. But next week, you know, you tell me. There's gonna, oh, yeah, there's gonna yeah. be a lot of things in there. Now mm -hmm. let me ask: Do you did you feel like a tourist? You know, visit, visiting these places. There are some places that I never been there before. Yeah. Like I I, I want to go to La Palma, Chalatenango. They say it is beautiful. Yeah. And I've been to San Vicente. Really? Yes, they say it is beautiful. It's beautiful. Like San, Vicente, San Vicente is beautiful. Yes. A little bit hot, yeah. right? Perkin, that's one place yeah. I want to go to. That to the museum. It's hot too. Yes. I have and been then, in, in Huayua, it's good. 
have I have a, a friend, a colleague from my school, from the school. He he lives in, in Huayua and he travels, oh, yeah. you know, he commutes uh, every single day from Huayua <laughs> to uh, Santa oh. Every single day. Long yeah. distance, really. Travel long distance, yeah. Long distance, yes. Mm -hmm. Long distance. Nice. You know, I'm glad you like this activity. You know, I'm, re I'm, I'm really am. Um, yeah. Let me just stop this. And by the way, save the website. You know, if you just want to spend time uh, visiting the places, at least online, <laughs> yeah, we can do it. <laughs> just watch, yeah. watch the picture, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the on the website you have uh, it says a flight, a travel guide, hotels, etc. <laughs> yeah. Yes. He is booking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you have you have an auction for Christmas. <laughs> yes. uh, Aguinaldo, here we go, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I say Aguinaldo goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, right? <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, right? <laughs> Nice. So uh, let me go ahead and share another screen with you. We just have two or three minutes. And it's uh, a bunch of uh, questions in there. Uh, like, for example, you have this one. Is it better to study English in class or online? That's one question you're going to have the chance to practice with a classmate. Okay? Okay. Okay, sir. Nice. And then we have some other ones. And uh, this is the one. There you go. So that's the website, but I'll be sharing with you. It. Yes, I'll be sharing with you the, the access information for this. Okay. Yeah, that's the material in there. And um, remember, we only have like one or two minutes left. I visited uh, recently per, per Kim Morrison. Who's this one? Luis, ah, that's nice. So these are images that he got. Nice, we didn't know about this. All right, so uh, let me uh, send you the last time to the breakout rooms and now practice those questions. You just can skip some of the questions and, and just choose the one you want to practice, okay? Okay. And use any grammar, you know, comparatives, superlatives, as anything. You know. Okay. There we go. You got two minutes, so go ahead, please. Two minutes or less okay. than that. Let's okay, say one sir. minute. Conversation. All right, so Brenda, you're with Karen Galdames, German with Roberto Alas, Alex with Karen, Angel with Miguel Franco, and Luis with Javi Rivas. Go ahead, please. Um, yes. Okay. You first, or how we are going to do? Um, the number one is one you, one me, one you, one you and me. Mm -hmm. We are going to switch. Yeah, you take okay. turns. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you first. You, you, <laughs> okay. Which is worse for you, health, smoking or drinking? Um, for me, it's smoking. <laughs> mm, maybe and why, drinking. And why? Why? <laughs> um. Good morning. <laughs> okay, because okay, all right. I see. I see your point there. Because uh, smoking can give you cancer, right? You can get cancer if you yes, smoke. Okay. Um, to number two. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> um, I read. It's very to be rich. It's very to be rich. Okay. One more minute. Okay. Nine one. 
Sorry about that. Yeah, we're done for for the evening, everyone. Okay, sir. So hope to see you tomorrow. So tomorrow we're gonna make an exception because we have a class. <laughs> okay, so, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So hope to see you in one piece okay. tomorrow. <laughs> okay, yeah. sir. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good evening. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.